welcome back to my channel deadheads or welcome for the first time today we're having a review of the game max uh, a390 I did a quick unboxing video this suit earlier I've been playing with this unit for a while and I wanted to give my full review on this um, there are some very favorable things happening with this unit but there's also some things that you should be cautious about first of all if you're looking in this price point, this $40 to $60 price point, there are probably way better vertical handhelds. However, if you want horizontal, this guy right here just might meet the, the requirements for what you want. Um, it has an okay form factor. It's not great. The plastic is a bit cheap. Um, the back... And coloring though is really nice um, campaign a390 again it does have a little speaker grill air vent here your volume rocker on the bottom which is a bit weird that it's on the bottom right there um, on the side your TF card uh, it did come with a 64 gig card I had trouble getting a different card to put in there but you know this software is based on some sort of Android but they have a layer on top of it I don't think there's any custom firmware available, probably won't be, uh, but this can play through N64, PSP, and uh, PS1. Now most of the games here that they've included are not going to push the system very hard. Um, we do have Vice City Stories here. Also again, you're probably better off putting your own ROMs on this, um, but I am reviewing it here as it came with the 64 gig card. Um, again, the TF card slot there. Your sticks are a bit short and stiff. Um, you know, they're usable. This is good. The sound, the sound is fine. It's actually not bad. Um, coming out of the front firing speakers here, um, two speaker grills. So it actually doesn't sound too bad. The L1 and R1 are pretty good. And uh, starting to select at a different angle here is a bit interesting. i turn this down a little bit. Um, a little backwards there on that. Again, the software here is very basic. There is no ability to do some of the common things. There's no special button here um, to do anything. The sticks, I do like the sticks. They are nice. They have a little texture on here and they click inward which is a really nice touch um, so you can see here that you know with PSP it is struggling a bit um, there is you know without custom firmware no real way that I can see to really um, change any of the settings on here and you can see it's just it's just struggling with this PSP I wouldn't even say really to play PSP on it. You're not going to have a great experience with it. It's going to be, you know, pretty poorly. Um, you do have your reset button up here, your HDMI out, um, a USB button for charging, and then your power on and off. Uh, if we hit the reset button, we do get a menu um, right here, but there's really not a lot you can do other than save. Uh, you can't change any of the graphical portions of it to um, you know change resolution add any shaders anything like that um, but as far as like just plug and play it is plug and play um, if we go into something that's a little more friendly to the unit um, it'll, it will play things here um, a lot better again PSP even though it's on here I, I wouldn't recommend it um, just doesn't play very well uh, everything else on here plays pretty good um, that I've seen that I've tried out so we can try here a little Mortal Kombat Advance and see how that plays it does come with quite a few ROMs so that's a benefit and a positive to it and again the best thing these sticks really nice sticks buttons buttons are good I like those as well D-pad, D-pad's a little too flat for my liking. I wish it was a little more outward. 
Um, that way you're not going to be able to do any real uh, Street Fighter moves on this. Um, but you can see it's playing Game Boy Advance, Mortal Kombat. Um, looks fine, runs fine. Um, it's getting a little bit warm back here. I think this has an all winter chip. It is 480p. It's an IPS screen for inches. Um, of course, if you're willing to spend a little more money, this guy right here is going to be much better. This is the Retroid Pocket 2S. Um, smaller screen, horizontal form factor, twice the price, but you're going to get a way better experience with, with this guy right here. Um, but this is, you know, playing good, and at this lower 40 you know, with a coupon, you might even get it for 30 uh, price. Although I think in most cases you're better off going with a vertical handheld like the MiU Mini, um, which is, is going to be a much better um, experience um, using it. Uh, definitely think that that is something that is going to work much better. I'll give you an example here and show you a vertical handheld such as the Mini Plus, the Miu Mini Plus. And you're just going to probably have a better experience because the software is so much better. We have custom firmware. You can go in and you can actually change some of the settings and get, you know, just maybe a better outcome than you are on this. And so, and just see them both running side by side. And you can pick up the Mini MiU Plus often with a coupon. You can usually get it for right around, you know, the same price. A little bit more than this. Maybe 5 to $10 more than the Max. Uh, but you can see both of them running there. And um, just, you know, if you want a horizontal um, handheld, this might do at this price range. But really, it's just got, you know, um, a lot of competition with the um, vertical handhelds. Um, I do like the software that's in here. Um, I would like to see it done better. Um, it, does, it does play PlayStation 1 games fine. Again, you're not getting any upscaling, no ability to add shaders or anything like that. So, you know, you're missing out on all that. But if you just want to play the game... At its native resolution, then you're going to, you know, get that at this price point. Um, the packaging um, is is okay. It does come with the console, USB cable, the manual. Has a little bag for it. Um, the TF card. Uh, nothing super fancy here um, with the packaging, but a nice little gesture here. Um, for the little the little bag that it comes with and the manual and the card for the A390 um, that it comes with but very very basic um, in the packaging all in all I think that if you can pick this up at $40 or less that it is worth it at that price but anything beyond that I would just go ahead and either get a, a really good vertical handheld at that price, like the Miu Mini or the RGB um, 20S, or even, you know, the RGXX55 um, for it. But you can see here, the little PlayStation 1, 1 games, Battle Arena Toshinden 2, and this thing is getting, it's getting warm right here. There is no, no active cooling, just passive, probably a heat sink in here. Uh, it does have the vent. Um, to go through, but you can see it's, you know, it's playing okay on PlayStation 1. No, no issues with it playing. Um, getting a little warm under my fingers here, but that's probably to be expected. If someone could get some actual, you know, custom firmware running on this, figure out what kind of Android, uh, this could be really good. Well, that's it, guys, for this video today. Again, this is the um, A390 um, review. Uh, you can get it in AliExpress. I'll leave a link up on the description. Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe and let me know what you want. And we'll see you next time, deadheads. Dead Fred out.